The idea initially was a crazy one. Could you change the bone marrow so that the cells that an AIDS patient has are protected from HIV? It was a dream until about two years ago, two to three years ago, when an AIDS patient developed leukemia and was treated in Berlin by his hematologist. The Berlin patient was transplanted with hematopoietic stem cells from a donor who was naturally resistant to HIV. The donor is then used for bone marrow transplant and the leukemia goes away. But with the leukemia goes away HIV. And this patient stopped taking his medicine and now he's approximately three to four years after the transplant. Which is unheard of. If you're not on antiretrovirals, within six months you should be getting close to AIDS. And uh, within a couple of years you really should be dead. The California Institute for Regenerative Medicine has funded two disease teams at the City of Hope and UCLA who are focused on stem cell transplant strategies for the treatment of HIV. The two teams are trying to replicate the finding in the Berlin patient and both these teams have a goal of getting to clinical trials within four years. It's incredibly exciting and we're the only people in the, in the, in the country funding this. And if they are successful, this greatly increases the chances that when my daughter graduates from college, when my daughter is ready to get married, that I'll be here. When I was diagnosed in 97, we were just at the beginning of the antiretroviral era. And before the advent of antiretroviral cocktails, AIDS was a death sentence. Virtually everybody that got HIV got sick and died. As people live with the disease longer, we are beginning to see that the disease is not cured by the drugs. We see higher rates of cardiovascular disease, we're seeing higher rates of non-HIV related cancer that people believe may be stimulated by the virus. There are effects that are happening within the body that are shortening people's lifespans. It's also expensive. It costs about 18,000 a year. And I think we all share in increased rates of insurance premiums because of the fact that these medications are so expensive. So we do need some other way of trying to, to tackle this disease. We're after a gene that the virus needs to get into the cell. It's called CCR5. If we can remove the, the CCR5, it's called the doorknob, so to speak, then the virus can't get into the cell. So it's relatively easy to isolate the blood-forming cells from a patient. And these teams will take those cells and then engineer them so that protein, the CCR5, is no longer expressed by the cells. In that way, these cells can be given back to patients and they have a sustainable, long-lasting source of blood-forming cells that are resistant to HIV. The CERN program has unlocked a lot of technology from the laboratory locker in which it was and is moving it out of the lab and getting it into the clinic. So that's the whole purpose of this program that we have, is to try to develop a therapy that could make it possible to stop the medications that you're taking.